It's the goddamn coffee special. Ah! I'm Coleman. Has this ever happened to you? You, uh, uh, you own a coffee business and can't think of ideas on how to broaden your business? Then do I have some solutions for you. We got cold brew to go. We got cold brew pre-batched. We got roasted coffee beans. We do not have hot coffee in cans. Don't, don't do that. Just, just think about that. Why, why would you do that? We have a lot of coffee to cover, so let's hop to it. Unlike beer, canning cold brew takes extra care to avoid having squishy cans. Uh, no one likes squishy cans in this particular context. We'll start with regular, still cold brew. You can purge the can to displace more oxygen-rich air. Then, with your brew as cold as can be, bottom fill and leave little to no headspace. Minimizing the air pocket and eliminating any temperature drop after sealing are both key to ensuring firm cans with still beverages. Alternatively, you can use a packaging gas, such as nitrogen. Nitro cold brew is popular for its unique taste and mouthfeel, but also has the added benefit of positive internal can pressure. Traditional nitro dosing requires intensive equipment and deals with liquid nitrogen, but there is an alternative. You can keg a batch of cold brew and attach nitrogen at a higher PSI instead of CO2 at a lower PSI like you would for beer. Make sure the keg is as cold as possible and periodically agitate it during your canning run. Then bottom fill and seal right away to retain those creamy nitro bubbles. Ready for a little science? This coat's not just for looks, you know. The latest and greatest in beverage innovation is hydrogen. Hydrogen-infused beverages have similarly small bubbles and mouthfeel to their nitro-dosed counterparts. Here's how it works. Suspended magnesium will react with low pH beverages. You can lower the pH of a beverage, like cold brew, with citric acid for better reactivity. The reaction itself then raises the pH, produces magnesium hydroxide, but more importantly, hydrogen gas. You can dose individual cans or an entire batch. The number of hours it takes depends on a few factors, but this is a great solution for cold brew to be enjoyed the following day. Hydrogen offers the same creamy bubbles as nitrogen and has been reported to have additional flavor profile enhancement, making it much better for drinks than dirigibles. Did you know the worst airship disaster was actually the helium-filled USS Akron? It's true, look it up. Now that you know your options for keeping those cans firm, Let's talk about the different ways to use them. For this, I'm going to need a coffee business expert. Hi guys. Is, is that a knockoff? Nope, it's the real deal. Well, I guess, uh, take it away then. Yeah, of course. There are a few ways you can use canned cold brew to enhance your coffee business. To-go cans are a great way to offer a little something extra to your cafe. You can always pre-batch cold brew cans and keep them in your grab-and-go cooler as needed. No matter which method you use, it's best practice to include a canned on and best by date. Don't forget to follow your local food safety regulations. If selling in multiple locations, use cold chain logistics when transporting. If you sell a ton of cold brew cans, pasteurizing for shelf stability can help you branch into distribution. You know, at Aldea, we also have the shelf stable lemonade. No, uh, sorry, only I get to go off on tangents. Oh, okay. Um, Back to pasteurizing. In this study, cold brew has shown to be safe and shelf stable after 30 minutes heated to 150 degrees. They also showed flavor stability and double blind taste tests. This can be achieved with a simple bath pasteurizer or similar methods. Is your coffee business also a roastery? Yeah, we are actually. We work directly with farmers in Honduras. Oh, no, uh, sorry, I was, I was asking them. Uh, that sounds really cool though, they should check out your website. Anyways. The Model 8 can be easily retooled from cold brew cans to steel coffee cans. One-way degas valves allow you to go right from roasting to packaging, minimizing the time beans are subjected to light and oxygen. Beyond better freshness, cans offer a host of benefits. They are easy to fill and seal, meaning less spillage and less production time. They offer great visibility with 360 degrees of canvas for your creative branding. They're fully and easily recyclable, and they're stackable. And stackability is neat. Literally. Well, that's about it. If you make craft cold brew or roast craft beans, you should be crafting cans. Check out links in the description, including Aldea's, to see how Brittany is changing the ethical coffee game. I'll see you later. Sleep is for the weak. <laughs>